Hi friends, uh, this is Abdul Ghafoor Sitcher uh, with pedagogy lesson number 5. In this lesson today we will be talking about reasoning methods. Now reasoning method especially uh, we use in science experiments related with the theories and uh, the hypothesis. So reasoning methods are especially uh, to conclude the result at the end of the each experiment and uh, use the logical uh, concepts and the logics. So we'll be talking about you know how many uh, reasoning methods we usually uh, use in our experiments and how they are uh, uh, different uh, to each other and what is the process for each uh, reasoning methods. So there are uh, three uh, reasoning methods. You can see on the screen, number one is the deductive, Number two is inductive. Number three is abductive. Mostly uh, scientists or in the lab, uh, we use these two, deductive and inductive. These are vice versa to each other. In the deductive, or we can say that the deductive are based on simple idea and theory. The inductive, they are based on data. However, the objective is a simple explanation. Let's see the first, how deductive reasoning works. So deductive or reasoning is a basic form of valid reasoning. Uh, deductive reasoning deduction starts out with a general statement. Simply we give the theory. For example, that uh, sun is rotating around the earth, which was the basic theory of that. And finally, it came on the conclusion that Earth is uh, moving around the Sun. So this is the concept, okay, which was a simple idea. And that was a hypothesis and that was a theory. And that general concept, okay, it went into the conclusion. You can see here this concept of, you know, rotation of Earth. It's turned into the confirmation. Let's see furthermore. And here's the logic uh, conclusion as we know that earth is moving around the sun that we know very well that uh, the tiltation of earth and rotation of earth how much it takes and uh, uh, the changing in the season and the, the international deadline is quite evident while earth is moving around the sun. The changing in the uh, day and night uh, winter solstice and uh, uh, summer solstice are quite evidence which perform the logically that uh, if the one side of earth is tilted more that means it has a longer night however the another side the shorter day so this is you know the deductive uh, deductive theory which gives the reason it's basically the logic reason from a simple uh, from a general concept you know to a logical conclusion now this is a process okay a simple process okay which has a step by step i will say uh, this is scientific methods okay it performs the scientific methods okay for example or another example uh, that you are conducting an experiment in the lab for h2o we have to uh, process or follow the scientific method a step by step process uh, to prove this uh, theory and at the end of uh, our experiment we convert theory into the 
a conclusion or in a specific data which is the H2O. So this is a, a process or uh, the scientific method which follows the several steps. You know. I will give you the an example, okay, which is a Kniep given, okay, in his uh, writings that all men are mortal. Yes. Therefore, I am a mortal. For deductive our reason, okay, hypothesis must be corrected. You can see you if you're gonna combine, okay, I'm a mortal, all men are all men are mortal. So science experiments are performed step by step, which is called scientific method. If you're gonna see simple theory, hypothesis, observation, and confirmation. So this confirmation is a conclusion and I have to write that should be a true. So this means that uh, this theory, which is the both, even it's a hypothesis as well as, you know, which uh, started from a general concept and it changed into the logical conclusion. So this is called the deductive uh, reasoning of the methods, which a scientist or uh, uh, in, in the lab through experiment performed step by step in which a simple idea converts into the uh, complex or in a true or logical conclusion. The next or second of the reasoning is inductive which is the vice versa or opposite as you know that this is a general concept of the theory however as I mentioned that this is based on the data so this goes to the vice versa from a specific concept okay for example h2o is a specific con uh, concept and uh, the earth is rotating around the sun it is a specific content and it is proved uh, through data if you're gonna uh, see that uh, or what axis the earth is rotating and it turned into the general concepts okay how it's going to turn into the general concept, okay? For example, I'll be reading, okay? Inductive reasoning is the opposite of deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning makes a broad generalization from a specific idea, observation. So basically, there's the data, then conclusion are drawn from the data. So it's it's a conclusion, okay? And it's turned into the data. Then let's see, for example, an example of inductive logic is the coin I pulled from the bag is penny. Therefore, all the coins in the bag are penny. That makes sense, which is the logic, okay? We'll go for the next step, which you're gonna example. Even if all our premises are true in a statement. Inductive reason allows the conclusion to be false. Let's see. Here is an example. Harlot is a grandfather. Harlot is a belt. Her head is shaved, okay. Therefore, all grandfathers are belt. Of course not. Why all grandfathers should be belt? So, the conclusion does not follow logic. It doesn't make sense. So, this process, okay, it went again into the observations. It needs to be observation with the first statement that Harlot is a grandfather. Then, all grandfathers are a belt. No, of course not. So the process is a theory, hypothesis, the pattern, and this is the observation. And this observation is can be logical or uh, it can be a false. So the inductive is a vice versa in simple words that it turns to, uh, from a specific con uh, concept in a generalization, okay? And uh, it considered to be a false statement or a logical statement, but this is used to be a data, okay? And uh, however, the deductive uh, concept, it is the uh, from simple concept uh, to a conclusion, true conclusion, okay? So these are the two uh, deductive and inductive uh, reasoning of methods. The last one is the abductive, which is not even deductive or inductive. Uh, it's not a fit even. It's a based on educated guess, okay, and no possible or clear answer. For example, okay, a person walks into their living room. 
and finds torn up papers all over the floor. The person's dog has been alone in the room all day. The person concludes that the dog uh, torn the dog tore up the papers because it is the most likely scenario because the, only the dog was there. But do you think does it make sense? No, the scenario is that, but the fact may be the different. It doesn't make there's no logic about that. Maybe there's children, okay, they went came, okay, maybe the landlord's children came, maybe another visitor, maybe thief came, okay, and uh, he did like that, okay. So it's the scenario is that uh, makes sense, but there's no logic to trust on it. So it can be torn by anyone else, maybe landlord, maybe her son, maybe niece, maybe he left the unlocked door and the thief came. So it doesn't fit even with the objective or deductive. So friends, these were the two uh, reasoning methods. One was the deductive, another one is the inductive and abductive in order to prove the logics uh, while as you perform an experiment. So every reasoning of a method has its own explanation and uh, process is okay. So if you have any question regarding uh, reasoning of methods, uh, feel free to comment on it. Or if you like uh, to see more videos about that, uh, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and like and share. We uh, will be uh, meeting uh, with the next lesson with a new topic, okay? Till that, goodbye.